uh, this picture about our traditional medicine, uh, traditional medicine. I want to say traditional medicine refers to a broad range of medicine practices which have been developed in, developed in China uh, and based on the traditional uh, uh, for, for 2,000 years. The doctrine of the Chinese medicine are rooted in the notion of yin yang, which has absorbed by Daozi. Daozi is a special philosophy in China. According to our traditional medicine, pairs is perceived as a harmonious interaction of personal function and the, the outside world. Also, disease is viewed as a disharmony with the uh, uh, disharmony a person with the outside world. Uh, traditional medicine diagnosis consists in three simple terms to an analyzing the harmonic pattern, mainly by touching the parts, just like this, touching the parts, and the, the, the inspecting the gum includes the various forms of the medicine. For example, herbal, herbal medicine, herbal medicine, and uh, massive, a message and the side pairing the therapy and the needle therapy, needle therapy. I want to say, maybe all of us you know from the late Qing, a Qing dynasty, China is a country with a great deal of suffering and disasters. But why it has but why it has a so big population here now? I want to say, in my opinion it is pretty depend on our traditional medicine. Okay, next one. Oh. Chinese music has been, uh, since, uh, has been made since the dawn of Chinese civilization, oh, as early as the Zhou Dynasty. Um, it's about 1122 BC. Uh, the oldest bamboo types and the Qing are all from China. And the, ins the instruments are traditionally divided into eight categories based on their materials, such as animal skin, wood, uh, stone, metal, and uh, other things. As we show in the picture, uh, this one is called the broad, broad chime. Uh, it's made uh, by the broad, broad and uh, uh, the stone. And this one is called Arhu. It's made by uh, wood, uh, snake skin, metal, and the silk. Uh, now we uh, we still use some traditional instruments, but we also use Western instruments like such as piano and other things. Now we'll show you a video about our Chinese music instruments. Like this. So I'll show you the way 
really with all the brush and dust that I see. And the, the traditional arts in China also have jingleware, channelware, paper cut, and uh, embroidery, uh, especially for the uh, double faced embroidery. And the, the most important is tea ceremony. Uh, a tea ceremony is a ritualized form of making tea, includes of a whole, whole set of rituals, tools, and gestures. Tea classic is the very first monograph on tea in the world, written by Chinese writer during the Tang Dynasty. After that, we began to have the tea ceremony, and it has had a major influence on uh, on the tea uh, on the Asian tea culture, um, such as Japan and Korea. Uh, this is our traditional opera. It's a uh, um, it's a popular form of drama and the musical theory in China, with roots going back as far as the third century. There are many regional branches of Chinese opera, but the most notable is the Beijing opera, like this. this. Um, uh, okay, we'll show you a video. I hope this time it will be okay. <laughs> Now I'm um, introduce the Chinese traditional architecture. Uh, it's uh, also as old as the Chinese civilization since the Tang Dynasty. Chinese architecture has had a major influence on the architectural styles of Korea, China, and Japan. This draft uh, shows the main role of the uh, traditional Chinese building. Uh, you already know there are uh, there were 18 dynasties in China history. Each of them had their uh, own unique style of dress. The middle classic form style are in Han and the Tang uh, dynasty. These two are in Han dynasty and this are in Tang dynasty. And uh, the Japanese. Uh, the Japanese kimono stands from Tang dress. Okay. And this is called the qipao. Qipao is a body hugging one-piece trans dress for women. It stands from Qin Dynasty. 
and uh, this pop Chinese tunic suit. In China, we call it Zhongshan Zhuang. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a style of male attire. It's established by Sun Zhongshan, this one Sun Zhongshan, after the founding of the Republic of China as a form of traditional dress. Um, it's a combined the traditional male clothing, Changshan, and the Western fashions. And also, every uh, minority nationalities have their own um, dressing style. So it's a different. Yeah, we can finish that next time. I think we take five minutes. 